By the end of this video, you will be able to split audio as well as move sections of audio around within the music software Audacity. Let's get started. So you're going to want to have Audacity open and you're going to want to have a track to be working on. So let's go ahead and import, go to file, import audio, and you can import any MP3 or WAV file and then click on open and that will bring in some audio or an easier way to bring in audio is just to have the audio in a file or on your desktop and then just click on the audio. You can see I have audio on the desktop there. I'm just going to click on that and then drag it over into Audacity. And then that will place the audio within Audacity as well. So in order to split audio, you're going to want to first click on the selection tool. And I'm going to be working with that. And so let's say I would like to have this first section split from the second section. I can click right there and go up to edit and then click on audio clips and split. Now you can see that it was split into two sections. Now, if I would like to move that audio around within that track, I just go up to this top and you'll see a little hand icon will appear and I will click on that and then I can drag to the right or the left. So that's how I can move that audio around. If I'd like to undo anything, I can press control Z. Now, a faster way to split audio is to use the shortcut. And so let's say I wanted to split this part right here. Remember, I have the selection tool selected. So I have, I'm in selection tool. And once I have that there, I can press on control I on my keyboard. If you're on a Mac, you can do command I and you can see it split that as well. And so I can move that around as well using the hand icon. So you can see it's a lot easier to move audio around within Audacity than it used to be. It used to have something called the time shift tool and you have to select that every time you wanted to move audio around. Now they have this hand icon at the top, which makes it a lot easier. Another cool way to split audio within Audacity is to go ahead and make a selection, remember selection tool, and I can make a selection here and then press control I. And what that will do is it will split the beginning and the end of the audio that you selected. Uh, so that makes it a lot faster with workflow. So a lot of times, instead of having to point and click, just select the audio you would like to have split, press control I or command I on a Mac, and then you're able to split the audio the way you want. Lastly, if you would like to move a section of audio onto another track, what I need to do in this uh, example is actually add another track. So go to tracks, add new. I'm going to add a stereo track. You can see I have another track there. And so now it's pretty easy. You just go ahead and click on this first section here with the hand icon. I'm going to left click and then hold. And then I'm going to drag onto the bottom. And you can see now it's on the bottom track. And if I wanted to close this gap here, I can just do that. And anytime you close a gap, make sure you look for that yellow line to appear right there. So that yellow line shows you that they're right against each other. And so if you're working with a certain kind of audio, you'll make sure they're right next to each other. Another thing I want to point out is that you can actually cut the audio off by continuing to drag to the left. You can see I'm still dragging. And what it's doing is it's going to have that audio start exactly where you see it. So when you export this, whatever you see there uh, will be exported that way. But uh, so one thing to make sure is that if you don't want that to have happen, just make sure you don't see that let that arrow appear. You want to have that arrow not there. So that way you have all of the audio that you had selected. So you now know how to easily split your recordings as well as move sections of audio around within Audacity. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Audacity tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.